shitload of ammo. Need to speak to Ned. I've got to keep on the move. They'll find us down here eventually. I say we just head straight in, hit them hard. Can we hack a Wolverine? I, have no I heard we're running low on ammo. Sure that ain't the case. Take a look. Take a good look. This is your doing. You and Ned start up trouble in the zone. And this is the price? People, Brady! Innocent people! All this fine talk about revolution. But it's always the ordinary people who suffer. I just don't have the supplies to treat everyone. Seeing as your actions brought most of them here, Maybe you'd be willing to help. The KPA have a depot on the other side of town. Should have medical supplies. You want to do some good? Get me what you can.
Here, come check this out. These are hack tools. We designed them to temporarily override KPA systems. We rigged up this KPA gate to test them. Don't ask how we got it. See how the wires lead to the terminal there? You just throw the hack device at the terminal and the door will open. But that's not all. Drones and turrets have the same weakness. You can hack them and they'll freak out and start attacking the KPA. Yeah, but only until the systems reset. Then they go back to normal, so watch out. Here, grab some hack tools and have a go. The medics are nothing short of heroic. But there's only one. Those hack tools will override drones, security doors, cameras, you name it. Pretty damn useful. Just throw the hack at the panel. Our people suffer. Just throw the hack at the panel. Recently returned from a... Out at New Hope Agriculture. Just throw the hack at the panel. Beautiful old farmland. I learned to grow food, the land... Bingo! You just broke into a maximum security compound. Well, that's the theory, anyway. If you run out of hacks, you can always build more. Yeah. All right. Go put them to good use, Brady. See you around. Instead of stealing or relying on a hand Thank you. And after that, who learned you we can achieve? Our own secret factory? It's exciting. I know that. Pass a Nork soldier patrolling your neighborhood. Hold your head up. Don't let your body language fall in on itself like a wounded puppy. Stand tall. Meet them. They'll shout at you. The worst case scenario, they may rough you up a little. But imagine what you gain from it. You won't be that bitch anymore. And damn if that doesn't feel good. They say the resistance are reckless, and their actions get people killed. The KPA have fed these lies to the people, nurtured these misconceptions. They report on resistance activities going wrong, and ending up in civilian death. Explosions in the streets, chaos. Wake up, people. Can you really be so naive? Lies. Always lie.
make sure the supplies get delivered to Burnett. We need to do what we can for his casualties, but we can't lose any more time. You've got Earlson up off its knees, and we have to capitalize and hit the police station. The prisoners are our only lead on Walker. You've proved you're a capable man, Brady. I know you can do this. survive is another small victory again. Ready when you are. God, I hate guns. You know something that makes me happy? Real happy? The restricted zone. Our own prison city. The North, their usual sadistic police. Through all the city's great thinkers, activists, like and artists, I and the shakes my hands from firing this thing so much. I guess they thought they'd be dealt with. Ripped to pieces by the most dangerous people in Philly the has to offer. Shitty. Maybe take not. Bikes over ground. What happened? The activists and thinkers were way stronger than they'd predicted, and now we have a bewildering hybrid of educated criminals and fight-ready thinkers. If we can help them escape, they'll be a formidable, how would we get to Hollywood? slightly terrifying weapon for the resistance. Tunnels to Earlston are pretty shitty. Maybe take bikes over Let's ground. give a little shout out to Manhattan Alpha. Those kids are smart. Their planning is always meticulous, yet inventive.
Parrish is doing the best he can with what he's got. Most of us have never even fired a gun before this war. Yeah, this irony to our situation in the Red Dawn. We're living out a mirror of the Vietnam War. Gotta keep this war. thing in top working order. A big top cloud mirrors reflection of it. Where the Viet Cong's jungle and system of tunnels have war. become our desolate streets and underground passages. We crawl through the darkness, run through the shadows, ghosts haunting our own city. And the Norks fear us, as well they should. We're fast. We're determined. We're formidable. Feels like all I do is wait around for the next firefight. There's a soldier prowling the skylines of our wounded city. She's a legend amongst her ranks. This thing's I jammed up on me more times than I can and say. Determination. The North don't know her by name, but by God, do they know her work? She's taken out more patrols than anyone can count. She's a product of this dark time. Lawlessness. 
this will not be tolerated. Engaging. People are happy to live under constant are we go in surveillance. Or? Hey, Braid. Hey, go blow off some steam. Yeah, don't push your luck, kid. I work in an office. It was boring. Keep this thing in top working order. Wonder how many of us. I figured we'd have a location by now. Something. What if they just kill him? How are we going to start the revolution without Walker? People need a hero. Someone they can follow. It's out of our control. All we can do is keep fighting. Hey, Brady boy. Come in. Come in. You're doing a fantastic job, pal. I better watch my back. You'll be taking over from me around here soon. Nice to have someone who knows what they're doing. Very funny. Oh, dial 911. What's up, Doc? What brings you all the way down here, Doctor? Someone tell you we found some band-aids? Listen, Crawford sent a message. The KPA know about the armory. They're going to attack. What the fuck did you say? If they hit the armory, we'll lose it all. All our weapons, all the equipment. You gotta warn your men. There's still time to get them out. Not without those weapons. We need them for the uprising. We'll be left fighting the Norts with spoons. No, no, no. We need to get everything out first. Find some place new to stash it. We should turn the tables. Surprise them before they hit us. Yeah. Yeah, an evacuation's gonna take a while anyway, huh? We need to stall them. It sounds like it's ambush time. At least we have plenty of uh, explosives ready. There'll be bits of Nork landing all the way over in Pyongyang. You like the fireworks, Ethan? You think this is funny? You think you can joke about killing him like it's nothing? Hey, Doc, last time I took the moral high ground, I brought a sniper rifle with me. So, where are we gonna stash the guns? Hmm? Oh, it's gotta be someplace safe. A few places would be better, so, uh. Hey, Doc. We're gonna need to use your clinics. You're insane. Perfect. When the revolution starts, we'll have everything right where we need it. No! 
What if the Norks find them? They'll execute everyone. You can't risk my people. That's not ideal, Doc, but this is fucking war, man. I spent four years begging, borrowing, and stealing to get these clinics up and running. It's a joke to even call them that. But they're all we have. All the people have. Well, be careful, Sam. I'm sorry, we got no choice. The hell with you. Shit. His people? So sweet. All right. You need to get over to the army and help prepare the ambush. Me and Dana are gonna round up as many fighters as we can and meet you over there. Don't have all the fun without us, Ethan. Look, you gotta hold them off until we get there with reinforcements. We need to secure those weapons, you understand me? Don't let me down. Hey, Dana, come on. You gotta move. Speak to my team and I'll see you there. We need to get everyone to Ned's place fast. Come on, Brady, we need you! 